Welcome back to the channel, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, Bo Biddle. That's not Bo Biddle. That's a Jeep Gladiator. All right. Maybe next time for Bo Biddle, folks. We're down here in the Franklin-ish area with our friends, CDJR Franklin. Their website's on the bottom of the screen. If you aren't familiar with who they are, they carry Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram products. This is one of their, kind of their, I'd say top of the line-ish specs. Uh, because it's been rocky ridged up this thing is highly modified folks so from uh, base level we'll just show you all the numbers that's the rocky ridge package right there thirty thousand dollars <laughs> that makes this a grand total of 102 so that means this thing has a factory warranty and all these different mods uh, i'm gonna do my best to bring all of them up to you uh, I will probably miss some, but I'm going to do my best to share this whole vehicle with you. It's just a matter of uh, me knowing exactly what's done. Now, I know that there's been a little bit of color matching going on. You can clearly see the Rocky Ridge uh, logo there. And then what hidden, hidden in there is a light bar, which is really, really legit. I just noticed that light bar. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to do my best to mention all of the things about this truck to you guys. But it may take a moment to just recognize so clearly it's got bigger wheels it's got a lift uh 22 inch wheels with 35 inch all-terrain tires uh, so basically there's a ton of meat on this thing uh and then again six inch lift on the suspension the speedo and everything has been recalibrated uh so it definitely runs and drives as stock i guess as you would get from the factory man it's so hard to keep this thing in frame it's so big um, but we're going to do what we normally do, start ourselves in the rear of the vehicle, and we'll make our way to the front. So, we got some friends over here from CDJR doing the same thing we're doing, just in a uh, bit different format. So, it does have the backup camera. I do like this blacked out badge, again, with the Rocky Ridge. Now, this is the, uh, oh, the vehicle's locked. How could I have forgotten? Ooh, I like those exhausts. So those are not stock exhaust either so dude, they do have a really cool look oh that's an over there unlocks that's kind of cool this thing is locked with the vehicle there's your uh soft open old hudson out there you can hear him in the background doing his work uh, love the look of this you can see the these have been color match added to the body uh, which is really cool really like the look of that pretty awesome and then you've got huge Rocky Ridge badge here on the side which is really cool now the they're not upgraded brakes they do have the caliper I guess cover cap kind of depends on how you look at things it does have the uh, here does have the auto start function which is really cool uh, a really really cool thing if you're trying to get, keep yourself warm in the inclement weather this is really light it's definitely got a spring somewhere inside there helping me do this because uh, I got a truck and it's older and that tailgate is heavy all right let's check out the interior we're gonna zoom out so we can get more things uh, one of the things I want to make sure to show Again, with the gotta unlock things, it does have that step that comes out, which is really nice and helpful. Uh, man, I love the rumble. It definitely has an aftermarket exhaust on it, along with the tips. Shout out to that Rocky Ridge bag. There's a kind of a backpack for scale to kind of show. Uh, pretty big seats in here. It does have the Rocky Ridge uh, stitching. This looks so cool in person. It's very it comes off on camera pretty well, but very much a 3d feel and look to that um, huge pano roof in this thing which is amazing oh dude i love those kind of headrests that like move this forward i love it a uh, bunch of power ac cup holders you got another set of cup holders here that come down i don't want to squish my buddy's camera bag uh, but a ton of room hard mats all the way across um, i'll leave that little my bobber there to a quick glance at these really 
looks nice. I would like the look of this wood. It's aluminum, it's trim. Fabric there, leather here. Doing a really, I mean, Dodge is doing a pretty bang up job for a long time now on their interiors. Uh, and they, you know, they're still really high level. This is 2022, so you know, I can't wait to see what they come up with next, but really looks good, nice and spongy. Plenty of storage. I left that in there on purpose. So y'all could uh, see the cups. Uh, sorry for the random acts of Michael Jackson jamming, but uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta get down, I guess. Uh, key, I'm just gonna throw right there. I'm just kinda show you guys. This is one of those big water bottles. Plenty of room for that cup holder. Get that out of here and show you all the power outlets, the aux, um, the wireless charging. Uh, you can actually leave your phone here as well. Uh, this thing slides back and forth. And then on top of here, let me get this to go forward. This actually has the safe, which is really cool down inside here. Uh, if I can figure out how to open it. Oh, there. There it is. That's heavy. So, safe for money or weapons or, I don't know. Some people like to keep a lighter from their friend. Random acts of uh, the tradesman information there. So, it's got two, another action here for opening, which is really cool. Um, plenty, again, as I was saying, plenty of space in this thing. It does have the pano roof. Uh, I love these gauges. It does... You can kind of tell it's got the Rocky Ridge. I'm going to get a little zoom activity. It's got the Rocky Ridge logo uh, emblazed into the center of these, which is nice. Uh, center stack. Um, here's your four-wheel drive. All the four-wheel drive activity is now push button over here, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, if you're not familiar with these center stacks in these Rams, man, they've been doing really nice ones for a while. Uh, I think this is version two or three maybe in it. They have a bigger one and a smaller one. I believe this is a smaller one. So, um, yeah, actually, I don't know. I'm not positive about that. Either way, it looks and the function and everything is pretty awesome. Uh, I, I like how quickly they, they jump from thing to thing. And, you know, if you're, you know, drop a rear view camera here so you can kind of see there's guys working out back. Um, and it's got the, uh, oh, the lines don't move. Oh, I have to put it in reverse for them to move. But, uh, yeah, really kind of cool little setup here uh, again touch screen or down here at the bottom you have all your things and you can you see how I pick that up I can move that I just moved it over right so it's really kind of cool you can be in complete control of these uh, which is nice um, overall really amazing truck I really love the stitching again blazing the headrest the, lo the logo uh, I'm gonna cut this thing down yeah, gotta turn it on to turn it off. Um, I mean, overall, these things are just beasts of a truck. Again, it's hard to keep it all in one frame. We'll get back to there. We go. So beautiful, beautiful truck. If y'all are interested in one like this, uh, Franklin Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is who has lent us this vehicle for the moment. Their info is on the bottom of the screen. This thing won't last long in their lot. I know they kind of re most recently got it. Um, they also have a really nice Jeep FJRX, one that they did themselves, and I believe it's a 392, so like that's a pretty B to the A Jeep. So if you're interested in something like that, they're do doing a video on it right now. I'm sure we'll have it posted here soon. And you know, until then, I guess it's just uh, me and my man Bo Biddle. No, that's still a Jeep. Uh, I will uh, take you all to the next part of this video which hopefully will be the widest shot that we got. Got my compadre over here. She's hiding from the camera. You can see she's trying to run away, but she's the newest member of the team doing, doing her best to assist me and keep conquering all the Nashville cars and coffee needs. So thank you all for your support. Our next event and or our next events all the way through April, our first Saturday of the month at Nashville Super Speedway. Y'all be served. Come see us. We'll see y'all in the next one.